Okay, I'm going to get us started here, and we're going to talk about how to access the data that you're going to analyze for the SAS Visual Analytics assignment. I think this is a very important assignment for a very uh, simple reason. SAS Visual Analytics is the industry leader in terms of tools that we can use to analyze data and to create visualizations that really will summarize data for us and help us use data to turn it into information that means information is data which I of course can use to make a decision with. So I'm going to walk you through the process because there's some things that have changed and uh, I'll, I'll record this and I'll post this over in um, over in Canvas and then we'll, we'll do a little more looking at it. So the first thing now you should have received an email me I will send all of you an email and I'm gonna ask you please go over to sat uh, to a Teradata University Network and register okay and the password is analytics all right I'm gonna to go to Teradata University uh, myself there's Teradata University Network and okay, and I'll enter my email address. Okay, I'll put in the password. And I'll sign in. So far, so good. Sometimes it's a little bit slow. A lot of people use this. It's a fantastic free resource. And as you can see here, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you here and annotate this for a second. Here you see the student password is analytics. So you'll need that when you want to log in and you want to register. Now, again, I want you to come over and register to get into Teradata University. And I'll erase that part there. And away we go. Okay. Now, let me say this, your first time over, I would really encourage you to come over and just look at all the stuff they have there. This is a free resource provided by a number of companies as well as the University of Arkansas. Oklahoma State University, I think, is also involved in this. But it's just a, just a fabulous set of resources on all, everything about analytics and what's going on with that. Uh, SQL, uh, there are any one of number of tools over here and look, when you go and interview with an employer, they're gonna ask you what you know about data visualization or big data and AI or data science or analytics databases. And you're, you can explore Teradata, Teradata University network. There's also a certification program here where you can go through and get certified. And this is a free resource. It's free to you as students. So it's just a fantastic, fantastic kind of thing. All righty, now, um, you're gonna click on, after you've, after you've come in here, you're gonna click, you're gonna put your cursor on software, okay? And then you're gonna go to software and then we're gonna go to cloud and you're gonna come to SAS Visual Analytics. Click on that. and may take it just a little bit of time to load up. There we are. 
and we're going to scroll down. Well, let me suggest this. You will want to take a look at the SAS Visual Analytics Guide. Okay. It's many, many pages. But you'll want to take a look at it. If you've got your own machine, you may want to save it on there as a PDF. Okay. So that would be the first thing I would encourage you to do. And as you scroll down, you're going to see a, the access to analytics. And there's also now a user guide. In addition to the getting started guide, there is a user guide and some white papers from SAS, information about the company. And I want you to click on SAS Visual Analytics to access the module. This is going to take a little bit of time. You're going to see this as it's loading. Okay. Like I said, it may take a few minutes. Now, there are two, and I, we talked about this in class last week, but there are two um, pieces here for you that you can look at. One is the report designer, which is basically shows you some examples of how to create a report or to generate one from data. It's like a template. It also They also have some examples. I want you to click on the data explorer, okay? And you'll have to get the Adobe Flash player and allow it to run. And if you get something like this up here, Flash is blocked on this page. I'm using Chrome. I'll just click that and I'll click Manage. And I'll go and I have Ask First. Okay. And the SAS is going to take a minute here and it's going to load itself up and here it is. Now you're going to see a thing that says select data source. But I want you to click browse. Okay. And this is the data project we, from the fall of 16 that I had all of you work with, but I'm not sure you're going to have be able to to uh, to access to get to get that data. So I'll close this off for a minute, and I'm going to click select the data source, and I'm hoping, as we do, it looks like. We'll come down here and I want you to choose the Insight Toy Company 2017. And we'll click open. And it will load up. Now, the user guide will walk you through the process of how to use this tool and to produce the reports that I'm going to ask you to, re to uh, reproduce. So I'm going to click back over here on SAS Visual Analytics and I think this will take us what I want you to show, what I want you to show, what I want you to show me 
for today. No, that's not what I want. Um, let's look at the user guide. I think this may be it. You can see there's a lot here. You can tell I'm kind of exploring with this myself. Um, I'm going to have you do a series of exercises using the Insight Toy Company. Now, I'm just going to show you here quickly. Here is an example. Okay. And I'm going to want you to create a series of, of visualizations. And I want to find this over here because it had all of those lined out for you. As you can see, I'm just kind of whisking through this myself. And let's, I'm going to click on Analytics. No, I don't want to do that. I'm already there. And I'm going to have you create a series of visualizations using this tool. Now, this will be a prep for you. And I'll get you some instructions. Let's say, for example, that I'm interested, and let, let me stop here for just a second and walk you through what we're looking at here, okay? I wanna get ahead of myself. Now you'll see over here we have categories. Consider those like dimensions or variables. And then we have measures. This would be data, okay? Now I'll hit the eraser on this. And for example, I'm going to look at these categories. There are 20 of them. And I'm going to look at And they're giving us some clues there, like for example, with order and product, there's like 5,000 of them. There are product lines. I'm gonna choose product line as a category. Now look, if I go to put it into measures, it won't let me. But because it's a category, I've got that. And it's gonna update the graph. And it's gonna give me the frequency of the product line how many of these I've sold. Now, if I want to see the data, okay, I can click on view and I can maximize it. I can do some data uh, brushing or I can see the parameters for this in a spreadsheet type. 
Okay. And I've got this as an automatic, this is set up automatically here for me. All right. I'll come back over here and click my options. And I can show the details. And that's where it'll show me the frequency of products sold, product line, excuse me, you see them? Now, I have a category. Now I'm gonna come down to some measures. And I wanna look at customer satisfaction by product line. And that's a measure. And you'll see we have the customer satisfaction by product line. And notice the product line is here in the horizontal axis, the X axis, the unit of measure. And then up here in the Y axis, the vertical axis is customer satisfaction. Okay, now we can come back over here and let's click on and look at the um, details. And now we can see the product. And if we want, we want to go maybe to a full screen. So let's look at click view and let's maximize our view here. And we can see the customer satisfaction per product line. Okay. Earlier we had sales because it just naturally threw that figure up there. Now I have this in just a simple chart. And if I want to, I can export the image. I'm going to click export. I'm going to click this down arrow and then I click export image. Okay. And pardon me. And if I want to do that, I click to here. And it's going to give me a PNG image. And I would just put this on my desktop and see this is called visualization one and boom, I save it to my desktop. Now I'm going to diminish here for a moment and here's my visualization and open it up. You see how, how easy that was? Incredibly easy. And we could have also included the data here, but the, look how quickly it made that nice chart for us. Now I'm gonna go back here and it didn't show the details for us, I don't believe. Let me go back and let's see if it gave us the details. It just gave us the chart, didn't it? Just the uh, percentages. So knowing that, I'm gonna go back here for a minute. And I'm gonna add the measure. Now, if I want, I can also export the data. And it's a Microsoft CF, CSV, comma, separated files on desktop. And I'll click Save. And I'll go to the desktop and take a look. And there's my data visualization. There's my chart plus my data. So if I want to, here's the product line. Here's the customer satisfaction. 
If I want, I can use the visualization that was created for me. And here I'm going to click insert pictures. And I'm going to go to the desktop. And I'm going to find that PNG. There it is. I'm going to insert it. Isn't that nice? Now, the beauty of SAS Visual Analytics, I'm going to close this off here. The desktop, I'll save it. And I'm going to call this Viz1. And we'll open it back up and see what it where it is one. There it is. That's that CSV file. Yeah, just to convert it into a regular notepad file. But you do have the visualization. And the nice thing is you can take this thing and you can embed it into a Word doc and you can put the viz in there or you have this option to insert the picture. Okay, we'll go over here to the desktop. And I'll find that picture, insert it. Okay. I want my data here, so I don't want to get rid of this. Don't save it. And what did I do with my kill off my data? Must have. No, I didn't. Here's what I'll do. I'll insert the picture. Now, notice that on the file type, I can put it into a JPEG or a PNG, which is a portable network graphic. So I choose portable network graphics, which is what visualization is. And I'm going to insert it. And there it is. And then I can do with it what I will. And I'm going to save this as on my PC, on my desktop. And I'm going to save it as a Viz1. And this time, instead of Unicode, Unicode text, I'm going to save it as an Excel workbook. Okay, and now I'll open it up and I'll find Viz1. And there's that beautiful table, easily done. You see how easy it was, I just clicked it. That's why the SAS Visual Analytics is such a fantastic tool. I didn't have to go through a whole lot of monkey business to get this beautiful graph. I'm gonna close this off and we'll go back over here. And if I want, Now I've chosen an automatic chart, but I can put this in a table. Okay. I can put it into a bar chart, which I have there with the data. And I have a whole bunch of ways I can go with this. I can put it to a scatter plot. 
Okay, I'll close that. It's got too many, too too much data to display. Um, and let's see. I can look over here. I can put it into a heat map. You can see I have some. I have. I do have a lot of variety. In terms of how I handle it, I'm putting it into cross tabs. Let's see what that looks like. There you go. And we'll go back to the automatic chart. Okay. Now, and I can do lat, I can create lattices if I wish to. You'll notice here. I can rank them, I can look at properties, I can add comments, I can filter. I've got lots of options to go with this. Now see, let's just choose those. Now here we come down and again, I can I can make those bars horizontal. Watch what I'm going to do. Okay, and I have the data below. So you can see, and I'll be giving asking you to. Uh, to, to go through a, a series of these. So this would be data exploration one. And then when I'm ready to start a new one, I just simply click, close this off. And I'll save it. So I want to click on visualization, and I want to create a new one. Okay, here's our, here's our first one, and now we're ready to create the second one, and so on. So I want to take a look at this, and then I promise that uh, I will, I think probably with this, with this data set, you can follow the instructions I have set up for you already, but if not, I'll rework them, okay? And I'll have this, hopefully have those ready for you by next week. All righty. Well, I'm gonna stop the recording and then end the meeting, and I'll post this for you over at Canvas.